Studio amplification for Almost Live provided by American Music. It's time again for home fix-up ideas on This Here Place with Bob Bobbin. Hello there and welcome again to This Here Place. You know, it doesn't matter how skillful you are as a builder, you're still going to make mistakes from time to time, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. And it's not at all unethical to hide a small mistake, like, say, this little <laughs> hole in the wall right here, with a piece of artwork like that. It looks good, and no one's to be the wiser. And it can cover up any size mistake that you might make. Uh, I think that needs to come up a little on the right side there, Larry. Uh. Ralph, a lot of people believe that when you are dealing with a screw or a nail that is stuck in a wall like this one, and then you decide you want to take it out of the wall, that it is impossible to do that without just tearing the hell out of the wall. Well, I know a lot of people think that, but uh, let me show you a little trick I know. Okay. Well, the first thing you do is you put the claw under the screw like that. All right. And the key is to rip it quickly like quickly. this. Okay. <laughs> well, now you've just torn the hell out of the wall. Well, yeah, I know. Uh, there's no way to do it without tearing the hell out of the wall. One of the most annoying and troublesome household maladies is the clogged up kitchen sink. And to get it unclogged can be quite a job sometimes. Boy, we've got one really clogged up here, don't we, Larry? Yes, sir. It looks like somebody threw some dead, rotten fish in there. Yeah, it looks like it could be that. Uh, how do we get it unclogged in a hurry? Are you going to use a plunger, or what do you do exactly? No, I want to throw this thing in there. That's an M80, isn't it? You better, you better get, up, get back there. Okay. Rotten fish. Yeah, it's rotten fish, all right. I gotta unclog the toilet. Do you wanna go? No, why don't you uh, go ahead without me there? All right. These handy wheeled dollies that you see Bob working with here can be awfully handy for moving bulky objects around. Watch out for that wheeled dolly there, by the way, Mike. <laughs> Ralph over here is working on the radial arm saw at the moment. Now, Ralph, when you're working with a radial arm saw or any dangerous tool, what do you have to bear in mind? It's concentration. Concentration. In other words, you can't afford to be distracted by anything. That's right. When you say distraction, what are you talking about? People talking to you, people asking you questions, that kind of thing? Is that what you mean by distraction? Yeah, that's what I'm... Would you call 911, please? <laughs> yeah. One of the biggest concerns that you have when you do home repairs is the exposure you sometimes have to toxic fumes, especially if you're spray painting, for example. And that's why it's a good idea to always wear a protective mask like this one. Let's go on into this room now, where Larry, in fact, is doing some spray painting. Larry, we want to ask you a few questions about the work you're doing. My God, Larry, you're not even wearing a mask of any kind. Aren't you concerned that these fumes could cause irreparable brain damage? Irreparable? Irreparable. Irreparable? No, irreparable. That means, you know, brain damage that you couldn't fix. That hurt me none yet. I've been doing this for years. You know, besides the practical advantages of do-it-yourself home repair, there are certain, well, therapeutic values in doing your own work. Working with your hands. Ralph? Excuse me, Ralph? 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 What? I was just wondering, uh, doesn't seem like you enjoy this work very much. I hate this work! Then why do you do it? I'm not going to do it much longer. I'm going to night school. I'm going to be a dentist. Terrific. <laughs> Well, if we've learned anything, it's that you can't be any too careful in this home repair business. Remember, safety first. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. Mike? Mike, you, Mike, you okay? Mike? Mike? You hit him right on the lens. Okay, you do it yourself. I hope that, uh, that helped. Stay with us. We'll be right back.